Hello, welcome to this again. First off, please excuse the funky lighting. It's really hard to record Mac screens because uh, they're straight up mirrors. Like, I had to put the lights down here. So yeah, I've got this 2009 iMac that's currently running High Sierra. But what if I don't want to use Mac OS, and instead I want to use Windows? But not just one version of Windows, two versions of Windows at the same time. So yeah, I'm gonna see if I can dual boot Windows XP and Windows 7 on this thing. I haven't done any research to see if this is even possible or not. I mean, it's an Intel Mac and you're able to install Windows on Macs, so. Partnered with Mint Mobile. All right, so I'm gonna start with the older one first, just because I feel like if I get this to work, then dual booting would be easier because like, you know, Windows 7 changes some things. Very cool looking disc. Honestly, the whole Windows XP box is really cool. All right, let's see if this yeah, does anything if I put it in. to push it in so far for it to actually automatically go in. Now, I doubt there's just gonna be a macOS version of the installer just on the disk. Yeah. I mean, there is, like, a, I'm pretty sure there's like a built-in, yeah, it's Boot Camp Assistant, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it helps you install Windows on an Intel-based Mac. Give it a shot, I guess. I can just install Windows 7 from here? What? Now, I could use this to install Windows 7, but, I kind of want to see if I can do it authentically first, but also it might mess up some things. I mean, I guess this would still be authentic, but like I want to do it, like just boot off of it. So I'm just gonna, I guess I'll shut this down. All right, I'm gonna turn it on and hold the Alt key to get into the boot menu, hopefully. Okay, we got Macintosh and recovery. It's gonna show me my windows, oh, there it is. Hey, and now we, Wait an absolute age for it to load all the files off the disk. Hey, it worked. For now at least. Oh, that's right, this is a... This is an upgrade copy of Windows XP. I keep forgetting that whenever I try to do this. And yeah, it says to insert a Windows 95, 98 millennium or 2000 disc. I just so happen to have a Windows 98 disc. Let's see if that does anything. How do I eject the disc drive on a Mac? All right, disc. Thank you. All that effort just to eject a disc. And now we wait another 15 years. All right, cool. No, oh, yeah, it's just got this big old partition. I guess I'll just delete it. Setup is formatting. Let's hope Windows XP can actually handle drives that are a terabyte because uh, I hope it can. And we're copying files, and I know for a fact this is gonna take an absolute age, so we'll be back in like half an hour. Actually, it's going faster than I expected, but we'll see. Well, it went to 100%, and now it's still copying. Oh, now it's. Alright. Well, it rebooted. Hey! Alright, we got the Windows XP setup going. Alright, the computer rebooted. Now I highly doubt that there's gonna be proper sound drivers for the incredible intro music, but it would be really cool if there was. Dang, there's no music. I'll just pop it in and post. Not right now. Alright. And now... And there we go. We got Windows XP. Now I just gotta find a way of getting drivers, which is gonna be interesting. So yeah, I'm gonna see if I can find any drivers for this. I doubt I can, but we'll see. All right, Boot Camp 3. Let's see if this will get the proper drivers installed. Oh, I got the Bluetooth. All right. Cool, we have audio now. That's a start. Hey, we 
we have proper graphics too. Look at that. There we go, Windows XP on the iMac. Oh, we got brightness too. Wasn't expecting that one. Okay, it's a little bit funky, but it's a really high resolution. Jeez Louise. It's, it's 1920 by 1080, but you know, Windows XP is really small, so I mean, uh, that looks bad. All right, well then, I guess we can finally games PINBALL! Yeah. All right then. Let's see, can we tour Windows XP? Welcome to Windows XP from Microsoft. Heck yeah. The version of Windows that brings your PC to life. Experience, Experience the best. Experience, Experience Windows, Windows XP. <laughs> best for business. Windows XP All right. Oh. That's awesome. I love it when Flash just straight up crashes. And yeah, we got audio, so I mean, might as well fulfill the promise I made in the last video. Mark my words, next time that I show off a thing in this channel that is able to play back audio through CDs, I'm, I'm whipping out the Good Kid CDs. Uh, we, got the, we got the CDs. <laughs> I think I'll do Good Kid 1 because it's got witches on it, and witches is a great song. I really hope it doesn't absolutely destroy my good kid disc. I really hope it actually reads the disc. All right, we got the thing here. Oh, hey, read it. All right, what, what track is witches? Oh, it just started playing, okay. Uh, it's number, uh, one, four, it's number four. Alright, that's enough of that. Screensavers, how, how well do the screensavers work? Should pass with flying colors. Yeah. Oh, it's very fast. Beezers. Beezers. Alright, let's get Windows 7 installed now, I guess. Now, one thing I'm realizing that I didn't do is um, I didn't partition the drive, so... That took an absurdly long amount of time. Jeez Louise. Still not even fully loaded yet. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention that this has a Windows 10 wallpaper for some reason. All right, we got this drive here. I want to split the volume. Sure, half and half. There we go. All right, that should be good. Now I have two, two volumes on here. All right, Windows 7, next, install. I've read and agreed, custom, all right. I want to use this one. All right, cool. All right, 20 minutes later, I restarted the computer. Windows 7 should be at the final point of the setup now, so. Home stretch, baby, which is very good for me because it's getting uh, late. <laughs> also, yeah, it grabbed the video driver automatically, so that's nice. All right. And there we go. It's even got arrow automatically applied. It seems we have no sound, though. It thinks it has sound, but we have no sound. All right, well, this is installing. Can I open up Internet Explorer? It's trying to connect to... Hey, there we go. We got Google. All right. Well, games, there's no games on here, dang it, because it's the professional version. Uh, I'm gonna restart the computer, see if that lets me hear audio. Yeah, still no sound. Not really sure what happened, but we just got no sound. Alright, let me see if um, Windows XP still boots. Earlier version of Windows. Hey! 
Alright, there we go. Yeah, somehow Windows XP is more functional on this thing than Windows 7. Despite the fact that Windows 7 came out right around when this thing came out, so... Crap, I don't have an ending gag for this. Uh... Take a second to think about how much you're paying for your wireless bill every month. Well, guess what? It's too f***ing much. Oh yeah, Mint Mobile is partnering with me to say this. What if I told you that you can get premium wireless for as low as $15 a month? Well, Mint Mobile provides just that. They're built on the nation's largest 5G network and are keeping costs low by selling directly online and skipping the retail stores and salespeople. Big Wireless wants you to think that they're the only option, but don't be fooled. Go to trymintmobile.com slash gigatech, which is also linked in my description, and stop paying more than you have to for your phone plan. And right now, new customers can get any plan for just $15 a month when they purchase three months or more. This includes the unlimited plan, which is normally $30 a month. So yeah, if you want to support me while getting a great phone plan, go to trymintmobile.com slash gigatech. That is J-I-G-A-T-E-C-H. That's also linked in my description now. Now back to your regularly scheduled outro. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, leave a like. If you have something to say, leave a comment. And if you want to see more, subscribe. And thank you to my channel members, Thomas, Windows on Windows, Scarlet, Serenity Scubbis, Mr. Muffin, Skyblocker, Nine Maurice. And with that, I'll be seeing you.